Hi, for many digital based businesses, it's very important to have somewhere to drop files. So um, whether you're a web designer and you need files from clients to finish their websites, or if you just need a place to hold your own files, whether it be for yourself or for your team, having an online place to do that is crucial. So we'll look at some alternatives to Google Drive, including a free one, which I'll save for the end, I believe. Um, check this out. So before we get started, I want to tell you about an exclusive group of entrepreneurs that I'm a part of. Um, go and check the link in the description below. You definitely want to check that out. If you've never used OwnCloud, um, OwnCloud is a open source software, uh, so it doesn't really cost you anything. And you can install it on your own server, so you, it's a self-hosted option. And they do have an online uh, version, I believe, where, where they will you know do that for you, but uh, with the pricing options here. Let's see what that looks like. I don't know because I've never used their their pricing. Uh, I've never hosted with them. I've always just done it on my own servers. So, um, yeah. So twelve dollars a month, um, multiple users. So there's kind of an idea of that. Um, to show you the inside of like you know one of my portals, um, mine's a little bit outdated, but um, but you know you would go in, select your folders, and I don't want to pull out to the home folder because I have client information there. Um, but then you just drag and drop and you know um and it's good to go and you can also uh share so if you click share you can share the item or if i was to go to the um back to the like actually let's say if i add a new folder I'll just title it new folder and then i go to share this folder right so then i can uh, put in specific users or I can make a public link and then I can set an expiration date on the public link and then I can password protect it and then I can set the permissions that someone's allowed to use um, so you know and I use this quite a bit actually because I'll have clients uh, upload photos for their website and I'll create a folder for them and set up a public link set an expiration for you know an approximately when the project will be done and then um, you know set it to upload only so they're just file dropping and then it's password protected so no one else can get to it and then I get I get my photos and videos that way um, so that I can you know finish their website so this is a really good option and I can you know stand by this one but there are some other options let's look at some of those um, there's ice drive and I kinda like this one because it has a lifetime option so if you are gonna pay for something um, personally I'm a fan of lifetime deals so um, they have some good, you know, lifetime options for uh, cloud storage. And then there is sync.com. Um, and you can take a look at that, but, you know, five, eight, fifteen dollars $15 a month, um, you know, team options. Um, yeah, up to 10 terabytes per user. Uh, oh, wait, one more here. Um, OneDrive. One of the cool things about Microsoft OneDrive is that you get five gigs for free. So if you're um, using this for personal storage, you know, it's about the same as an iCloud. I think they give you five, um, uh, five gigs for free and Google gives you, I think, 15. So you'd get 15 with Google Drive. So personally, I like OwnCloud the best. Um, you know, everybody has their preferences, but uh, feel free to check out the rest of these and check out OwnCloud and uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you think. Hey, before you go, make sure you check that link in the description below for that elite entrepreneur group that I told you about at the beginning of the video. You do not want to miss that. Go check it out.